In today's video, we built the largest solar and wind farm in Softwareing. Welcome back to Studio XR. Do you guys think it's possible to make millions of dollars by doing nothing in Softwareing? Well, we are going to find out very, very shortly, guys. So stay tuned. But welcome back to another video. It is time to release pretty much our first digital distribution platform here in Softwareing called Studio XR Marketplace. It's pretty much ready for release. So what we got to do is, will it help us make more money? We are going to need to find out by clicking that, not, not cancel button, eh? not that cancel button, by clicking that release button. And there we go. It is out now. The Studio XR Marketplace is out. Let's get an update. Let's update the 2D on this. Let's assign to the seven teams. Let's put it on the SCM. Let's update this. Come on, game. Let's get this updated. And if we go into digital distance, distribution we want it on the studio xr and in terms of our company cut our company cut can be about 15 20 percent let's see if that does anything can we get auto sign new platforms will this do anything for us let's have a look oh yeah all right 23 percent already on our platform that's really really good so it's looking like the bugs are coming through so let's make sure we keep making sure that this is all updated and up to scratch but it's looking pretty well up 23 percent which is absolutely amazing guys i'm hoping everyone is doing super well today i most certainly am we're going to be releasing tower wars number four very shortly and guys like i said at the beginning of the video we're going to be taking some inspiration actually from elon musk in the developing the world's biggest not biggest battery biggest battery biggest solar farm biggest wind farm yeah we're pretty much going to be doing something absolutely crazy in this video very very shortly and i cannot wait to get started now what buttons did i click i was going to have a look at the review for tower wars 4 oh yeah we already did that whoops <laughs> whoopsie daisy <laughs> and anyway but in terms of our cut we've got a cut of 20 percent uh, you know what i'm thinking distribute other company auto accept new deals that'd be right i might bring our revenue cut down to 15 percent but tower wars 4 100 go 100 art a 9.1 let's alliterate that and let's see how much more we can get done on that uh xr station 3 is also doing very well let's do a review on that see how our console system's going and battle strike 5 is also coming along very well so we'll have a look at that and see what that's doing 9.2 that can go a little bit more uh how's battle strike 5 going and battle strike 5 is still an 8.3 so i'm gonna alliterate that and just let that do its thing you know what i mean let it do its thing guys if you haven't already guys if you don't miss out on any new videos of software and card mode or any video just like this one make sure you smash a like on today's video and also guys subscribe down below if you do not want to miss out on any new videos just like software and just like any type of category just like this one we're most probably going to be playing software ring city skylines air force CL, any game that you guys choose next year i think this is going to be the last week of the si series i think so i think then i'm going to be taking some time off i'm going to be taking some time off from youtube for a couple of weeks and getting back into it next year which is going to be really exciting uh so i've got a community post also coming out uh christmas day so pretty much christmas for you guys i've got a community post coming out and that's gonna explain you know just you know i'm gonna just say a couple of things you know and which is really cool cool you know i think it's gonna be awesome to do something like that you know but let's have a look at this digital distribution we're going downhill why is it going downhill dude we need to make sure we've got a big cut on here 30 percent cut <laughs> oops nope and tower wars 4 is a 9.6 let's alliterate that again wow that console operating system is doing very good we're nearly there actually which is super exciting i might also space sim 7 mm, space sim 7 can we port you anywhere let's have a look yeah we can we'll put you on these two guys that should be alright. Space Sim 7. What about Tower Wars 3? Or 2? Tower Wars 3? Let's go filter by release. And yeah, we'll put the Tower Wars 4 as well on those exclusive operating systems. Let's do that. XR Station 3 is how good? A 9.6 out of 10. All right. Well, I think XR Station, we're going to promote you. I also want to press in, let's say, October, November, December... 
let's go about february 2018 is going to be the release of this station here pretty cool let's promote this we'll get the bugs going on this we need to get some press release going on here straight away so we'll let that do its thing and what i might do is i might start actually printing all of our stuff that we need so we'll print that we'll print this as well do you not have any printing cannot start until you've built one well this one here we can cancel that because we don't need that do we hardware what do you mean we you've got no leds what are you talking about no assembly lines have rumble units oh, what are you on about we should have those rumble units oh let's double check all right let's go here manufacturing what do we got here these are developing controllers yeah uh, what are you talking about components I've got printers here, joystick, rumble, LED. What are you talking about? So what I might do is I might try and rebuild this. Let's see if rebuilding this will work. There we go. So I've rebuilt it and it's looking like it's now working. So go to manufacturing and storage. Yeah. All right. So now if we have a look, they are not up here in storage. They are not down here in storage, but they are down in this facility down here. That's absolutely crazy to see. Beautiful. And I'm very happy, actually. So now we do need to get some people uh, to come in to collect all of this. So that's the next thing we need to do. So what we will do is I will come into manage staff and i will start hiring some couriers to come in 8 a.m we're gonna start off at maybe go one two three four five six that could be all right so there we go six o'clock six of them we've got coming in we've got eight to twelve twelve to four four to eight eight to twelve twelve to four four to eight yeah we pretty much got people coming in all the time and actually i might even get rid of this i might dismiss these guys here I might get rid of them now thinking about it i think we're actually all okay now so now if we come back into our manufacturing is it manufacturing we should be looking at or software printing uh okay if we look at here recycling efficiency is 100 percent we can ship about 1500 boxes per month and if we look at our software printing printing capacity is nearly 5 million copies a month and or 2100 boxes per month shipping capacity is 1500 boxes per month so that's pretty good we can actually hire some more people if we wanted to but i think we're actually doing all right for the time being but goal is now is to release these press releases like so get this going and uh in february we're going to release xr station to the world i also want to look at tower wars as well and once that is done we're going to take a look at something new and tower wars is doing pretty well so tower wars i am going to promote you i'll go marketing i'll get your press release going like so and hmm, you know what i think tower wars 4 is gonna come out in february 2018 all right so we'll get that going we'll make sure we're hyping as well game day team game two lost their leader oh did they leave hospitalized game two dead <laughs> whoops <laughs> whoops uh, we'll, we'll get someone new. We'll get someone out here in a sec. But let's just focus on getting Battle Strike 5. Uh, no, sorry. Tower Wars going. I need I need this press release. What's taking so long? Come on, guys. I need this press release going. Oh, XR Station. What is it? 2 a.m.? Good, isn't it? Let's go market. Let's get a press build going out on this. Press build as well. There's so much to do. Tower Wars 4 might bring that down into here. Just so I can pay attention what's actually going on. Tower Wars 4 is now out beautiful and i'll put that there so i can watch what's going on there beautiful 49 million dollars for space in seven at the moment wow that's actually really really good isn't it oh, that's what i like to see everything sky rocketing that's what i love to see let's get another press release going out on these guys i think that'd be really cool to see and tower wars as well we'll need one too so we'll get these press releases out in next month is a big month for the company as we release some awesome software just like that release that we'll just make sure everyone's a little bit hyped up <laughs> that's always good to see so february 2018 is here it's 7 a.m pretty much right there and there we go let's release tower wars 4 let's get that out how did this go 5 5 and 5 4 4 and 5 absolutely awesome to see and let's go into here marketing budget we'll give it a hundred thousand dollars 
uh order copies are zero and i think we're gonna try and go for about i don't know fifty thousand copies i think that is right did i set that up right by 50 no, i want to do at least fifty thousand copies a month or at least a hundred thousand copies maybe <laughs> all right let's see if we can do that that might be all right and the xr jewel 3 is doing how good four four and five yeah wow i, I got the middle one wrong but i was nearly there one hundred thousand copies hundred thousand dollars i should say and in terms of copies no we're not ordering copies because we're currently printing that already how did this go five five and five no we like five four and four three four four that's pretty good let's go a hundred thousand dollars for the marketing budget there we'll turn that off and just go like this xr station making sure we get an update on all of this and just like that tell wars 4 makes 16 million dollars six million for station which is our console and nothing for our jewel we did have some issues with some of our printing but we're sorting these issues out straight away and we're fixing everything up now what i want to do is tower wars 4 i want to port you to another operating system maybe these four there they'll be all right Shit, how old is aiden now uh 58 wow i'm getting pretty old now aren't i <laughs> Jeez. all right it is tower wars made 18 11 800 000. that is all right let's make sure that this is doing all fine make sure that porting is going beautiful and i'm pretty much just gonna go up through here make sure we cancel any support that we don't need so i'm gonna get battle strike 4 and the console back into designing and then we're going to get started building out this factory so guys i'm gonna do this quick and pretty much the time lapse of me building this big solar and wind farm is gonna start right now. And just like that, the project is complete and it's absolutely awesome to see. And well, let's have a look at what we've done. So we'll start off with this floor, the Gigafactory, our own Gigafactory. All the solar panels are here. We've got some helipads here so we can get rid of some stuff, some items, X, Y, Z. You know what it is. Yeah, it's pretty much it. I'm going to toggle L because honestly, we've pretty much put some lights in here. We've put in sprinklers and all that so that is all in here and pretty much yeah sprinklers if i toggle l again you can see a bunch of sprinklers everywhere hopefully that will be all okay but we've got solar panels on the top of this building we have solar panels on top of this small little building here so i built this little building and uh uh, what's going on here oh i've got to connect this building oh, whoops give me one sec all right so i've added in some extra panels so this is a separate little building here that stretches all the way out that way which is all right uh the exterior color is meant to be black that's it that's the way to do it oh no it's raining but we've got a massive wind turbine farm here which is doing absolutely wonders for us and if i go into the factory here i think it's this floor right here as you can see we've got some batteries here and they are all at 100 percent full which is absolutely crazy now let's see how much are we actually producing you may ask well if we come here to utilities it's going to tell us right here in terms of hours we can go by hours but in turn we can actually go by hours and see how much per hour we're we producing about 73 megawatts that's pretty cool but in terms of the day we need 2.7 gigawatts like last month it's looking like so how much did we send back to the grid electricity to the grid half a million dollars 200,000 because yeah it was 200,000 there was no sun <laughs> man so imagine us building out something really crazy we can go wind turbine farm there wow we can really do something crazy couldn't we wow this is really exciting let's see how much money do we make today do we um potentially do more than what we use maybe it honestly depends on how much electricity uh you're actually using so we're already at what 1.6 1.8 gigawatts that's crazy 7 p.m 
am. Don't forget the wind turbines are kicking in. So that's that's helping a lot. 2.3 gigawatts we did. So last month, what do we produce? We done 443 electricity to the grid. What I would like to do, let's maybe, hmm, let's actually buy out this plot of land here. Let's see what we can do. All right, so what we've done is I've added some more wind turbines in over here. I've added more wind turbines over here. We've got wind turbines nearly everywhere. Utilities, let's see. It's a new day. Do we make more money? We've got to make more than 2.3 gigawatts. This is going to be really, really interesting. Already up to $140,000 worth of income. Last month, we did 443. Let's see. Can we smash through the park and produce more than what we are consuming? We are producing 5.5 megawatts, and we're only using, like, less than 500 kilowatts, which is absolutely amazing. So the peak was here at 2.7 gigawatts. 2.7, we made 2.8. How much did we send back to the grid? Half a million dollars, guys. That is actually pretty good and now what we can actually do is start creating something even more awesome than that but i think that is going to be it for today's video guys make sure you do smash a like and subscribe down below that's absolutely amazing i am so happy with what we've done today we've done a bunch of new software and we're creating this massive solar and wind farm that this is just crazy just to look at everything that's here but let's have a look guys because we are worth three billion dollars now we're doing absolutely crazy it's good to see in terms of our investments i believe let's have a look we've made 111 million dollars that is pretty good i like to see that in terms of our utilities do we get back up the top here 2.8 it honestly must be depends on the day the weather xyz what's going on february's look like a good day are we gonna break the 2.8 gigawatts Oh, oh, we might, we might. Let's have a look. 2.3, 2.5, 2.6, or 2.7. 2.8's the highest. 2.8, 2.9, 3 gigawatts of power. And we exported how much? Nearly $600,000. What an absolute, absolute ripper. Wow, I honestly can't believe that we made that much money. Guys, we went to enjoy today's video. Smash the like on the very and see more videos like this one. Make sure you click start on righty. Click if you watch this video, click down here, watch the full playlist of software in card mode. Guys, I'll catch you all in tomorrow's video at 12 a.m. Australian Day. So guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys then.